Hey fellow music lovers, so today I thought I would sort of do a video um, explaining how I got into K-pop. And now, it's not really the most interesting story, but basically, um, I've had Twitter for about six years now, and um, I have a lot of Twitter friends. And one of the, a lot of them were actually into K-pop, and I would see, like, a whole bunch of things on my timeline about it, like, all the time. And so, um, one day I was just really interested about it, and I decided to ask my, one of my friends about it. And she suggested to me listening to a group called EXO. And at first I was kind of like, Okay, listening to music in another language, that's kind of strange because I can't, I won't be able to understand it. And, um, eventually I listened, I think I went and listened to, I can't remember which album it was, but I know I went and listened to one of their albums. And then I went and watched music videos. And at first I kind of, like, I liked it, but I didn't want to, like, admit that I liked it. And then, um, one day I looked up or I saw their video called Overdose, and Overdose is basically the song that made me decide, okay, I'm a K-pop fan, I like this song, because I watched it over, like, a million times, especially when I was trying to learn members, oh my gosh. Honestly, it took me, like, half a year to learn the EXO members, um, because there was 12 of them, and I mean, it was my first K-pop group that I was ever learning. I don't know what I was thinking learning a 12-member group, but I didn't really know about any other groups except EXO at the time. And after that, um, I was ba basically, like, the only K-pop music I would listen to was EXO's albums for, like, a good six months, and uh, I was very... I was kind of close-minded to listening to other groups, but then another one of my Twitter friends, who I, we became friends because we were both just getting into K-pop, and we wanted to talk about it, <laughs> and, um, she introduced me to a group called BTS. Now, BTS kind of, like, I just, I fell in love right away with everything that they do, um, and the song that I had on repeat the most, which is my favorite BTS song, was Boy In Love. And, um, it did not, I don't know why, but it did not take me long at all to learn BTS. I think one is because they have fewer members, and two is because I just felt, like, right in love with them. And I had already had experience from learning EXO, so I kind of knew how to do it a little faster, like, now, it still takes me a long while to learn a group, especially if they have more than, like, six or seven members, because that's just, like, that's a lot to learn, um, especially because they, a lot of them look alike, and, um, I think after that is when I looked into FX, because I heard a lot about FX, and honestly, I'm really glad I did, because, um, FX is my favorite girl group. I love every song that they have, and they're just incredibly talented, and their music live is just, ugh. Well, a lot of, the thing about K-pop is, a lot of the K-pop groups in Korea work a million times harder than American groups and artists, and if you've been into K-pop for a while, you will know that, and I don't think, ugh, I sometimes I can't even fathom how they handle the schedules that they have. Because it's like, when do you get to rest? When do you get to, like, sleep? When do you get to eat? Like, what are you, you're just doing music things, like, 24-7. Um, and they produce music, like, ten times faster than it is in American um, music industry, too. Because they, they'll have multiple, what are called, comebacks in a year, which is basically, like, a new album. And it has a, um, it has a concept with it, and they're just, like, promoting all the time. And it's just... It's crazy, um, but I love it, and I've been into it for a year, and I'm still, like, I'm still new to it, so I still have other groups that I need to listen to and other albums that I need to listen to, but yeah, that's basically how I got into K-pop. It wasn't, like, I had heard about it a few years ago, but I never looked into it until last year. I wish I had gotten into it sooner, 
but I'm just really glad I did, and if you have not checked out K-pop, you need to, because even if you don't think you'll like it, like, just, just, um, tr like, listen to it to appreciate it, um, even if you don't like it, um, and I'm going to put a link down below to a Spotify playlist that I have called, um, K-pop songs that I like, um, on my Spotify, it's just, like, Okay, so I listen to a lot more groups than I actually know the members of. The amount of groups I know the members of is probably about, like, maybe five or six, I would say. Not that many. Um, but I listen to way more groups than that. Um, and again, the playlist will be down below. I encourage you to check it out. Just, like, put it on shuffle. See if anything comes up that you like, and if you don't, then you tried it, and that's all that I ask is that I want people to try and listen to K-pop, even if they don't like it. I understand, like, there's genres that I'll try to listen to that I can't get into, um, but the whole thing is just trying to appreciate it for what it is and the work that they do, because they deserve it. And now I'm just ranting about K-pop, and basically I just wanted to talk about how I got into it, and yeah, so I know there's a lot of other different ways to get into it, but basically mine was just like, my internet friends were into it, and I wanted to see what it was about, and it changed my life completely, so that's basically what happened. And I'm sorry if this video was like just me going on and on about it. But I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and um, subscribe for more music-related videos. And until next time, keep listening to some great music. Bye.